Hi everyone, Dave here from Hattons, giving you another live stream this morning and I thought we'd take a look at Hornby's Centenary train set. Now, it's a really exciting story about this set came about. It replicates one of the first Hornby train sets ever made back in the 1950s. So I'll be telling you a little bit of the story about the original train set. I'll be getting it out of the box as well so you can see some of the contents, including a fully new tooled locomotive in there too. I'll be showing you some of the other centenary items that Hornby have produced for their 100 year anniversary this year. And there's a link in the description for more information on those. So as always, do ask any questions you've got regarding this set in the chat and I will answer them throughout the stream. But to cover a little bit of history of the set, this was actually a replication of an original set done in 1950. Now, in the late 1940s, just following the Second World War, a company called Rovex was started up and originally they were making plastic cars. However, Marks and Spencer, the shop that was around at the time and still is, was really after a train set for their Christmas markets. So they approached Rovex and asked if they could provide a train set. Now, the technology wasn't quite as decent as it is now. We're talking 70 years ago here, really. But there was still a train set made, which is broadly similar to a lot of the train sets that are out there today with two rail track, an electric powered locomotive with a battery controller, a locomotive and two coaches that came with it too. The locomotive that was chose was the London Midland Scottish Railway Princess Royal, Princess Elizabeth, that you see in the black on the cover there. And this again, quite different to the model we know today, but of the time this was quite revolutionary with the plastic body and quite a few separately fitted parts that you see there. So this was released just in time for Christmas 1950 and Hornby have celebrated that this year by bringing it back out again with a little bit of a twist too. I'll show you now as I open the box. The cover art has been pretty much replicated from the original. I've not got a picture to hand, I'm afraid. But if you do have a look out there, you'll see that the cover art is pretty much the same, apart from the fully new tooled Princess Royal locomotive that you can see. And that is one of the changes that's been made with 70 years of advancements in these models. They haven't exactly gone back and got the old tooling back out and dusted it off either. They have gone for the fully new tooled locomotive. And of course, Hornby's Princess Royal was tooled up again a couple of years ago. And we see it here in exactly the same colour as it was in the set in 1950. But at the same time, a fully different tool model. I'll just show you the original that you can see there again. And while you're having a look at that, I will put this on the camera for you. So you can see the, the model technology as you can see it in 1950. And if I bring you a little bit more up to speed, I will show you the technology. That's the difference that you've got there. So completely different model. This is fully new, super detailed, but still in the exact same livery and style from the original set. And Hornby have done that even, oh, almost, nearly let that one go then. So Hornby have done that even through the full style of the set as well. They have replicated the LMS period free coaches, again, that have a fully new tooling. But these even have the original numbers from the original set. So they have really researched that original model that you can get hold of. And the Rovex company produced quite a few of these. There was thousands and thousands of them made. Unfortunately, with the demand that Marks and Spencers needed at the time, they couldn't quite get as many produced as they needed and the company did run into financial difficulties being bought out by the line brothers in 1952 and they formed triang which may be a bit more of a familiar name to you so that's where the triang story began they took the princess model and started developing other models as well there so they came from that particular model kept the two rail system going, looked into TT and other scales and eventually became the Hornby Railways that we know today. So it's great that Hornby have replicated these original sets. And there are a few more centenary items available that I will cover towards the end of the stream. I'll let you get a bit of a look at what else comes in this set first. 
you get pretty much the standard contents for a Hornby train set. You get your full detailing pack for the Princess Royal. You've got an extra NEM coupling in there, different cylinder drain taps. You've got a replacement rear wheel. If you check out our stream on the Princess Royal, there'll be a lot more details regarding the set there. You get the important bit, you get your certificate of entity, and that is a limited edition of a thousand as well. There was only a thousand of these particular sets made, which is quite different to the thousands upon thousands that were made back in 1950. And it's a really good choice of a set, this too. Hornby have produced two this year. They've produced this particular set that you see here, and they did also produce a replication of a late 1930s Hornby Double set. Again, exactly the same idea there, where they got the new tooling versions of the older locomotives, where they had an A4 and two Gresley T coaches, but really combining the original style and feel of the train set with the brand new up-to-date super detail vehicles. You get your standard track, you get your oval of third radius track, so eight track pieces. You get a selection of straight track pieces there too, including your all-important power clip. You also get your instructions and the track map in there too. The ever important re railer, great to get your locos on the track. And the controller is one of the real areas that's changed. This is no longer battery powered. It is mains powered instead. So standard Hornby controller, they're a lot more reliable than those battery powered units of the 1950s. But at the same time, they serve the purpose at the time, really. So. I'll just let you again get a look at the Princess Royal locomotive there. And again, you can see the full detail that this model does come with, including the fully lined BR black livery, which I believe they don't actually, they hadn't actually carried that in service. So it is something that was made specifically for this set in the 50s and is specifically made for this particular set now too. So I'll show you the locomotive there as well. And there were a couple of variations in this. Some of you have spotted in the chat. Some of the original locomotives in the set were in the plain black that you see here. Some were provided with the lining at the time too in later models. But the original set, as you can see, was in this plain black finish that you see here. Of course, this model lasted for a couple of years with Triang as well. They brought it out in various different colour schemes and releases to make other members of the Princess class. So you do get a full train set for your money here. It's not just a limited edition product. It's not just a fancy box. You can buy this and use it as a full set should you wish. It is actually, it works out at really good value too, where you've got a fully new tooled locomotive in the form of the Princess Royal. You've got two of Hornby's fully tooled up new Stanier period free coaches, which usually come in at about 40 pounds each. You've got a full train set and controller as well. So the price that these do come in at, at 249 does actually work out quite well, even if you forget for a second that you are getting a limited edition product on there too. So do take a look at the link in the description. I don't think we've got any in stock at the moment, but we are working on getting some more. Supplies of these are extremely limited, as you can imagine, with the certificate there confirming the fact that these are a run of 1,000. But this isn't the only item in Hornby's centenary range. The company started in 1920, and no doubt a lot of you have seen quite a bit of the different material out there and the publicity that Hornby's created, including not only this, but a full range of these items as well. We've got this item honoring the Rovex period from the early 1950s, but different models have been released for different decades from Hornby's history. We mentioned before the Hornby Double set that was available, and quite a lot of them have sold out now, so they are becoming quite hard to come by. But again, if you click that link in the description, we have still got some of the models available, including the original style O-Gage template models, one of which we have each in stock right now. So have a look if you do want one of these to an extremely limited edition of 100. These are made to go on O-Gage track, the battery powered and honor the original locomotives built by the Hornby train company back in 1920. Further releases coming through this year, still available to pre-order if you check that link now, are the Terrier, which honors the 1990s period with the top link style branding. You've got 
clan line up at the top as well, the Merchant Navy, which honours the 2000s when this particular model was first introduced. And the most recent model on the edition there in the bottom right is the Works Grey liveried Pecket, which honours the 2010s and a lot of innovation in the Hornby range. So all of those, if you check them out on our website now, either sign up for an alert to make sure you know when they're coming in, or in the case of the Princess Royal set, do sign up for an alert to make sure if we do get some more stock, you'll be the first to get one. But I really do recommend pre-ordering these as stock is quite tight, as I'm sure you can imagine. So regarding the new locomotive there, this particular set does come completely digital ready. It's not supplied with a digital decoder, but the locomotive does have an eight pin socket in there. So if you did want to, you can upgrade the locomotive when you get it to add the full digital capacity in the tender. So do take a look. And Nathan, I think you've got many people who are agreeing with you there. I'm quite a fan of the BR Black in either of its guises, really, whether it's the fully up-to-date 2020 model that you see here or going back through history where you've got the 1950s style locomotive that you can see on your screen now. And it's great that Hornby has honoured its history in this way. They've really made a point of making this as accurate as possible, but at the same time, making sure that those brand new, highly tooled models really do feature as a major part of this set. There's so many places where they've really just made it the original style. Again, do take a look out there for photos of the original train set, and you'll see just how close they've got it but using the current style and quality of components, such as the standard nickel silver track that you see, the detailing pack, the modern controller, and of course, the loco and coaches too. And that's the same throughout the range as well. We saw the Terrier briefly before. This again is now the fully detailed model that you can see. And the Peckett and Clan line are detailed, fully detailed models too. So whilst they are honouring the different areas of their history and more and more models are coming through, it's a great way to get some limited edition locos onto your layout, maybe something to have as pride of place in your collection. But at the same time, you're not skimping on the quality either. You are getting a completely 21st century locomotive that will look fantastic as a part of your collection alongside the other locos. So do take a little bit of a look at the link in the description where we've put more information regarding the centenary range items that are available now or coming through. If you want this particular set, make sure to sign up to the alerts and you'll be the first to know if we do get any more available. I'll just give you one last quick look at that Princess Royal locomotive that you see there. We have got a selection of images of this on our website replicating not only the original model but also the full details of the new super detail models too so if you'd like to know any more do put your questions in the comments do get in touch with our customer experience team as well who can give you any advice you'd like on this hornby centenary item or any of the forthcoming hornby centenary range otherwise i hope you've enjoyed today's stream don't forget as always to subscribe to our youtube channel and like our facebook page I hope you've liked having a bit of a closer look at the Hornby Centenary set. If you did enjoy this video, do let us know in the comments too. Do let us know what other videos you'd like to see from us. I'll just give you one last look at that original style locomotive back from the 1950s there and showing you once again just how Hornby brought this up to speed with the 2020 model. So those of you who may have had a similar set in the 1950s, those of you who were a fan of these particular mo locomotives back in the day, it really is worth a look either to reinvigorate some history or just to have something limited edition, really. It's always good to have a collector's piece, something that you can put on the mantelpiece or keep as a treasured possession for years to come. Otherwise, make sure to take a look at that link in the description. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Let us know what you think and take care. Goodbye.